Let's talk about something more pleasant. Like Nintendo Software Library for the Switch. We're really going to talk about this? No, we got to talk about two things. So I got a message today from at Bob Misterick. Okay. And he sends me a message. He goes, hey, Chibi, I think I found where your old Saints Row the Third avatar went to. And he sent me a link to uh, Nintendo Life. It had a story on this game. It's a stealth game called, what's it called? I forgot. Don't Get oh, Caught. Don't, don't Get, get caught. caught. And the gameplay revolves around you're sitting in the backseat of a taxi, I believe, mm-hmm. trying to masturbate. Yes. Looking at creepy photos, and yes. basically, you don't want to get the, the taxi. You don't want the taxi driver to catch you jerking off in the back seat of his car. I believe that's the main gameplay loop, um, and this exists. You can, you know, it's coming out next week, July thirteenth. It's uh, seven pounds in the UK. I don't know what it is in America. Did you pre-order it? <laughs> I did not pre-order it, but so I saw that, and then also there's a game coming out next week. Uh, I, I got an email about it, and I knew that our our good friend Whipsmart Banky that this game was right up his alley. Uh, the game is called Waifu Uncovered, and it's a this is also on Nintendo Switch. Uh, he so he's been playing it, and Banky says that first of all, it's okay. It's a bullet hell shooter, but mm-hmm. I've never seen like naked cartoon breasts in a console game before. Right? Am I? Uh, no, there's been some in console games, but it's like not a Grand Theft Auto occurrence. had, right? Grand Theft Auto. Well, I mean, had, you had you, know. you had some Leisure Suit Larrys in there as well. Okay, okay. The guy game. The guy. <laughs> okay. It's been a minute though. It's been a it's, minute. It's been a little bit since we've we've been down this route. I think. So, uh, Banky writes like he he likes it. The music is surprisingly good. Fun power ups and power uh, power downs. He says, but the enemies in the game are flying poo piles and buttholes and meme faces. The first bo- boss is called Skull and Boners. One of the later bosses is called Deep Shit, and when it hits you, it smears the screen. With and well, you that, can't that's see. That's what happens. When right, that is comes. realistic. And then he says there's an uncensored nude mode, too. I have no idea how this is coming out on Switch. It's worth the $7 just for the novelty. So that's Waifu Uncovered, giving the thumbs up from Whipsmart Banky. And he sent me some screenshots. Uh, is Nintendo just not checking anything? They're like this. No. They just like have their hands over their eyes, like, eh, ah, over their ears. What, this game's coming in every week? Ah, it's all right. It's whatever. Just make sure they're not free. As long as they cost a penny. So yeah, if you need uh, <laughs> animated breasts in your in, in, in a console so, so game, you would go with Waifu Uncovered over Don't Get Caught. Is that your suggestion? Well, we don't have a review code for Don't Get Caught, so I really can't say. But I don't know that. I don't know. Don't look caught. Looked really weird. It looked. It's like let's make a sex game that's not erotic at all. Just completely creepy. Creepy sex game. Wombat. Wombat got really interested when I said creepy sex game. I live that. <laughs> right. All right. Uh, so that's Waifu Uncovered. Thank you, uh, Whipsmart Banky, for that, for another Whipsmart Banky's Hentai Corner. I don't know. We need, we need a name for that. <laughs> Whip, <laughs> Whipsmart Banky's Creepy Hentai Corner. Perfect. How about Uncle Whipsmart Banky's? <laughs> Uncle Whipsmart Banky's Creepy Hentai Corner. Uh, uh, where else is are that we? the, the tentacle name? I mean, tentative name? <laughs> that's good. Wow, bad. wow, you're on fire today. Did we not have anything on here for all the Warner Brothers rumors that are going on? I saw someone mentioned it in the chat that Microsoft uh, Microsoft is rumored to be possibly purchasing the Microsoft Games studio offering. I guess that was what? quite a quite a sentence. There. I know. I don't want to say IP because I don't think they're getting Mortal Kombat. Oh, you definitely would get Mortal Kombat with it. What's yeah, the point, so- otherwise? Yeah. yeah no, so yeah, it, there's a lot of bidders that are rumored to be going for this. Uh, EA, Activision, Microsoft. Uh, two, uh, two K was the other one. Okay. Uh, or Take Two, but I always get those. Take Two is the parent company. Take Two, yes. Um, those are the four, I guess, serious uh, bidders that are being right. rumored to be connected to the WB purchase. But there's a lot of good studios in there. And 
I think Microsoft might make the most sense out of any of those. Activision doesn't make sense to me because they got out of this business already. They didn't want the license business. They put that aside. They only wanted Call of Duty. Um, they went to like the three franchises. They went to Call of Duty, Skylanders, and what was the third one? Uh, Blizzard. Right. Well, they, Blizzard they goodness. Blizzard stuff. Um, EA, I don't think that they would probably be able to offer enough for WB. Right. They probably not interested in that either. They got their right. own business plan. They're doing fine. Like they're, they're doing just great. Right. Um, so I so think would that probably... make uh, Batman exclusive to the uh, Xbox? It depends on what licensing deals come along with them, right? I mean, that would be a nice uh, retaliation for not being able to get Spider-Man. No Spider-Man, it... but we've got Batman. Batman. That is right. true. That's a good point. And you get all the Lego games. Yes. Which get makes sense games. with their Minecraft stuff as well. Mm-hmm. Batman. You get uh, Mortal Kombat. Mm-hmm. You get uh, NBA Jam. You, you get do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you get Joust. <laughs> do you? Is that still I think there? So, yeah, that was part of the last sale. Okay. I Is couldn't it... remember if Joust split off. You get uh, a, Gauntlet. Its own company. Don't you get Gauntlet with that too? <laughs> These aren't like strong selling points. I feel at this point. What do you mean? It's like who wouldn't spend a billion dollars for Gauntlet? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Pretty sure the going rate for Gauntlet is a billion dollars. Right. The merchandising alone will bring in hundreds of dollars. Uh, who doesn't want food badly? <laughs> right. We need it. <laughs> oh. I, I think with that deal, though, I think there would at least be a time deal with those properties, just because they're already in development with those studios probably. Um, so you would at least get the next go round of these. I, it makes sense. It seems like the only really valuable IP that would most definitely be involved would be Mortal Kombat. Warner brothers is still going to have ownership of Batman because Batman is owned by Warner Brothers. Of course. Right. So Batman is not going to be sort of like that's its own deal on top of the deal. So it makes it interesting. Hence me saying before, I don't think they get all the IPs. They don't get Batman. No, even Lego that. is but its own might, deal on top might of a get deal. The the license for the video game of those properties for some period of time. I mean, if you're going to work through this deal, obviously that would be on the table. Of hey, let's get the exclusivity of Batman games as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, but it's a deal within a deal within a deal. Mm-hmm. But it, just studio wise, it's a they've got sure. good studios as well, though. Yeah, sure. Travelers Tales, the Traveler Tales, right? And uh, uh, yes, and Avalanche, and, and Nether Realm Studios, Nether Realms. Yep. and Rocksteady, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So. Those are st- those are quality studios. Yes, that's th- those are worth a purchase. I'm just saying you don't necessarily get their main IPs with all of that. With Nether Realms, you get Mortal Kombat, but it's a pretty good IP. It's a pretty good <laughs> IP, uh, th- but that's it. I mean, but that's the that's the marquee purchase. I think the studios are too, though. I mean, you you can turn those studios into whatever. Like Microsoft has some IP that's just been laying around doing nothing. Yeah, they're really good at having IP that lays around and does nothing. Right. If you had yeah. these studios on board with all the studios that they just bought, you might have something then. I could see Avalanche making Fable. They can make anything apparently. Yeah. 